Hello there, people of the internet. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. So, I'm hungry right now, and all I have to eat are these damn MREs. So, what a perfect time to go ahead and make a review. I have no idea if I'm going to actually go about posting this, but if I do, hooray! If not, I get to eat an MRE. Well, shit faced. Oh, wow. This tequila don't fucking play. All right, this extraordinarily uh, uh, flavorful tequila is going to be accompanied by America's favorite beverage. Copyright safe beer. <laughs> we all know what beer this is. Get the taste of tequila out of my mouth. Okay. Let's have a look at this magical MRE. Can I peel this one, or is it going to be annoying? That was actually quite easy to peel. All right, let's check this out. Hopefully nothing's moldy or full of salmonella, because I feel like that might kill me. All right, there we go. Today we are trying out the Elbow Macaroni and Tomato Sauce. All right, right off the back, just starting off, opening this ration we got the elbow macaroni in tomato sauce naturally because the ration said that this would be in there oh oh dude this MRE has matches oh hell yeah oh I was hoping I'd find some of those we'll check those out here in a second all right we got nut raisin mix now I'm all excited that calls for another shot every time I find something in this MRE that I enjoy I'm going to take a shot. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, tequila. I should have got some gin. All right, we got nut raisin mix. That's fantastic. And we got a pack of Skittles, wild berry. These I can get at the store, but if you're in the Middle East, these are definitely a welcome sight. Name brand items. They're fantastic. All right, wheat snack bread. This is what was moldy in the last MRE that I had. Make my eyes water. I'm gonna switch over to vodka. Tequila's not really my thing, I guess. All right, oh wow. Chocolate protein drink powder. I, I feel like I don't really wanna drink this while I'm drinking alcohol, because you know that might ruin this, but I'm still gonna try it, because why not? You know, I'm trying to advertise these MRE videos on Facebook, which is the entire reason why I'm, I'm making so many MRE videos so I have a way to advertise the channel. And Facebook is still denying me advertising. And it's nonsense. So that's what I'm currently wrestling with. All right, chocolate protein drink powder. We're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. I was really hoping I'd get one of those. So far, this is my favorite ration because of the matches and the protein beverage. That is that is awesome. All right, let's see, what else do we have here? This is uh, MRE cheese spread. That ought to be, that ought to be an adventure. What else? We have pepper sauce, Billard's pepper sauce. Don't know what that is. Don't know, made with Tabasco peppers. Oh, it's, it's hot sauce. All right, never mind. It's freaking hot sauce. Cool, MRE hot sauce. MRE spoon and flameless ration heater. I don't know if I'll use that flameless ration heater tonight or save it for a later point in time. All right. I still have some leftover ration stuff from previous rations setting to the side. Like I got the toilet paper here in case I need napkins. I got some salt. Done. Oh yeah. Got to check out the accessory bag before I go saying that it didn't include anything. Out of the way, MRE spoon. You're replaceable. I have one re just like you sitting right here from the previous MRE. I'm going to keep all these MRE spoons, too. Like, they're they're really nice little spoons. All right. Looks like we have our little red pack of gum. Again, just like the previous MRE. We have... There's our salt. I didn't know if we would have any at this time, but we have them. We have coffee instant type 3. Man, this is just a fucking gold mine. 
I know I'm drinking, but I'm absolutely going to make this coffee. And we have, of course, creamer to go with the coffee. Please tell me there's actual sugar in here. Ha ah, ha! MRE sugar. Nice. Let's see how well this stuff stacks up to just regular cane sugar that you can buy at the store. We have moist towelette. We have our toilet paper. And we have uh, MRE matches. Fantastic. These matches are designed especially for damp climates, but they will not light when wet or after long exposure, several weeks to damp air. Made by DD D. Beans and Sons, Joffrey, New Hampshire. Well, let's see if these things work. If they work, fantastic. I have some matches. If they don't work, at least I say I got matches in an MRE. Wow, these are like some cheap ass little matches. And they work! Ah, oh, they work really well. Look at that burn. That's wonderful. I'm going to use these to light a candle later. That's fantastic. Where the hell should I put this? Uh, I'll figure it out. I figured it out. Okay, that calls for more beer. Alright, I'm going to go through and organize this just a little bit. Alright, I know I had the flameless ration heater, but I'm kind of a weirdo, and uh, food like this elbow macaroni, I enjoy eating cold. You know, beef ravioli, spaghetti, stuff like that. And it's just the way I like it. I enjoy eating it cold. So, whenever I break this out, I'll be chewing on that while cold. But, to begin with, we're going to check out some of these side dishes. The Skittles. I'm sure everybody knows what these Skittles look like. Alright, I'm curious to know about this wheat snack bread. Because last time I got this, it was moldy as hell. And I wasn't able to properly try it. Let's see if this held up. If this is moldy as well, I'm going to be quite disappointed. Alright, uh, I'm not seeing any mold. It doesn't look great, but I'm not seeing any mold. Let's pull her out. Yeah. I don't see any mold. I don't smell any mold either. This actually smells like food. Fantastic. Now that's what I'm talking about. Although this just looks like one piece of bread versus the other one that looked like it was two pieces of bread. But it actually smells like food. <laughs> This is, this is fantastic. Alright, it has kind of the consistency of not really hard tack. It's actually quite good. And that's actually very flavorful. And I've had worse bread. I've definitely had worse bread. It's got a sweet element to it, but it's dense. That's, that's the best way to describe it. It's almost like it's almost like the pop tart bread or the toaster pastries or whatever kind of toaster thing you decide to have. Just imagine that nice and sweet without any of the icing or various creams or whatnot in it. That's exactly what this bread is like. All right, we do have this cheese spread here. I have no idea how well this is going to go with this sweet bread, but we're about to find out. This is my first time actually having MRE cheese spread that did not come in a can and was not completely disgustingly sour. Alright, just by looking at this cheese spread, it looks a lot like the Velveeta cheese that you'd get in macaroni boxes. Actually, that's exactly what this looks like. Hmm. That's a really interesting clash of flavors. It's a lot better than I was expecting it to be. You have the saltiness that comes with the cheese and just the horrifyingly intense cheese flavor along with the sweetness of the bread. The bread's not stale or anything, but it does taste old. It's sweet and it's good, but it does taste like old bread. This was a very interesting experience, this cheese spread. 
on this I don't know this this hard tack almost <laughs> sweet and salty I don't think I've ever had cheese spread on pop-tart bread before but it's not the worst thing that I've ever eaten I'll be honest I mean don't get me wrong I wouldn't you know go to a restaurant and order this but if I was out surviving in the wilderness and this was all I had man that would be freaking awesome judging by the shape of this it almost looks like it was cut from a loaf and that's interesting I'd like to know what the actual process of that is they perforated it as well to stop any bubbles from coming up that's also very interesting all right, before we go too far, I'm gonna start some hot water for that coffee. All right, hot water's going. Let's check out this raisin nut mix. How the hell do I open this? Oh, I see a seam. I imagine this is gonna be basically trail mix. All right, let's check this out. Yep, nuts and raisins, fantastic. The nuts are unsalted and the raisins are bland. <laughs> But again, I've had worse. I've <laughs> definitely had worse. I remember one time, me and my friend Bubba, we didn't really have any food to eat. So we did what, of course, growing boys do, and they make themselves a compilation of food of just whatever they can find. And we made this big bowl, <laughs> and we called it the bowl of whatever that was. <laughs> The name of the food, uh, uh, the name of the recipe is directly influenced by the context of how you use it in the sentence. So, in this case, it was the bowl of whatever that was. In that case, it was the bowl of whatever this is. <laughs> but we basically just pulled all kinds of random crap from his refrigerator. Neither of us had any idea what the other one was throwing into this bowl of just nonsense the main filler was like rice and mashed potatoes but man there was so much other crap in there that was awful that was that was excruciating to eat but we ate it and we ate all of it <laughs> we made sandwiches out of that shit this right here is not nearly as bad as that experience nothing says fantastic like a bowl of nuts oh Okay, let's keep checking this stuff out. Skittles. If anyone doesn't know what Skittles look like, let me know. And I will ask you what rock you've been living under. All right, let's check out this main course right here. I brought out the plate thinking I might need it, but that might not be the case. It's very literally just a pouch of elbow macaroni. Same stuff you get in the can, I'm sure. Oh, no. You monster. <laughs> Man, this thing is just being horrendously monstrous. I've almost got it. Perfect. Fantastic. Yep, just as I expected. That is absolutely elbow macaroni inside of a pouch. I don't see any meat in there, but I'll let you know if I find any. Before we get into this endeavor, we're going to need a spoon. I'm making an eating show in here. Shut the hell up. <laughs> All right. Let's try this stuff out. Yeah, I don't see any meat in here. It's just elbow noodles and tomato sauce. Cool. I might add more elbow noodles because there's a lot of tomato sauce in here. But before that, we got to try just the regular MRE. The sauce is very... It's, it's meh. It's meh at best. There's no meat whatsoever in this. It's just a bunch of extremely tomato-y sauce and elbow noodles that taste undercooked and they're kind of rubbery. Yeah, it's not great. What the hell was the hot sauce for? Was I supposed to stick hot sauce in this? Is that what that is? Fuck it, let's give it a shot. Let's see if this hot sauce makes things any better. Alright. 
Billard's pepper sauce. Before I go dunking this in there, I'm just going to see how it tastes. It's got an alright flavor to it. It's definitely got some spice to it, but the flavor is like... It tastes very artificial. I'm only going to stick a little bit of this in there to get a bit of spice. But this right here, it doesn't taste all that great. In my opinion. Other people might disagree. Alright. Let's see how that brightened it up. That's actually better. Alright. Let's stick some of this cheese sauce in there. Hell yeah. Get in there. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Alright. Now we mix that in there. Just like that. Fantastic. It's not really mixing all that well. But that's all right. Whenever something doesn't mix well, the best course of action is just to keep mixing. I'd say that's probably good enough. Oh, dude. That cheese sauce makes a huge difference. Man, that is delicious now. That's actually really good. We're going to add just a bit more of this hot sauce. Just because I feel like there's not enough zing to it. There's like an aftertaste of the hot sauce. There's there's the burning of the spice, but there's like this really distinct aftertaste that tastes like rubber. That's the best way to describe it. When in doubt, just keep stirring. Now that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Alright, so we took an all right MRE meal. And we kind of added things that probably weren't supposed to be added to the MRE. And, uh... It turned out pretty fantastic, I won't lie. This right here is actually a lot better than I was expecting. I think I might have added a little bit too much of that pepper sauce, because it does have that aftertaste of it now, but it's not nearly as strong as just the straight sauce. There's a lot of sauce in here, and very few noodles. So I'm probably gonna add more noodles to this, but I'll go ahead and do that later. All right, we're gonna set that aside before I go eating it all. Iodized salt. I'm sure you all know what salt look like. I don't really have to use any of that other stuff. I already showed you all the matches. We check that out. Don't need the Skittles. Ah, coffee. Let's check out the coffee. All right, we've got our scalding hot water over here. Fantastic. That just burnt the hell out of my fingers. I went ahead and added some water to our chocolate drink mix right here. And we're going to let that set. It says to let it set for like 60 seconds, so I guess we're going to do that while we check out this coffee. I've had type 3 coffee I don't know how many times. Probably once. <laughs> let me rephrase that. I've had type 1 and 2 coffee I don't know how many times. This is my second time having the type 3. The type 3 is pretty good by, uh, by my opinion. A lot of people might not think so, but what do they know? What does everyone else in the world know that I don't? All right, there we go. I'm just gonna throw the coffee into the scalding hot water. Fantastic, just like that. I'm gonna clean our MRE spoon. I think I understand now why they say coffee should be the first thing that you make. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely prefer my coffee without uh, tomato sauce. All right, wow, this doesn't feel so good, guys. This area is feeling kind of crunchy and hard. I don't know. I'll open it up and see what it looks like. I know the coffee looked all right. Oh yeah, this looks fine. Ish. Fine-ish. I'm not seeing any mold. So, it looks fine. Totally. Yeah, there we go. All right, throw that in there. Now, our MRE sugar. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I'm quite excited about this. Peel that off, throw it in there. Fantastic. Just like that, now we stir it up. There's a lot of undissolved coffee in there and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we have ourselves a genuine cup of MRE coffee. Last time I had to add my own sugar. It was all right, but not what I'm looking for. <clears throat> all right, let's try out this chocolate drink mix. I think I added a little too much water, but that's alright. I don't think anyone's going to really complain about that besides me. And who gives a shit what I have to say? Alright! 
chocolate beverage from a bag. That does not look appetizing in the slightest. I'm gonna shake this up a bit more. All right, I'd say that's pretty well shaken. <laughs> All right, let's check this out this time. This time, well, it definitely looks a little better, I guess. <laughs> All right, I guess that's just gonna have to do. Let's give it a shot. Needs more water, <laughs> holy shit. All right, how's that look? That looks much better than what we had last time. Because, man, I didn't put nearly enough water in there. That's actually pretty good. If this was refrigerated, it would be a lot better. But, it's sweet, flavorful. The first time, God, it was overwhelming. But this time, this time it's not so bad. It tastes like, well, it tastes like a chocolate protein drink. That's 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 literally all it tastes like. It doesn't really taste like Yoohoo or chocolate milk. I don't know. That, that's the best way I can describe it. Go down to your local CVS and get yourself one of those chocolate drinks. The protein drinks that are sitting in the aisle. And uh, that's exactly what it tastes like. Alright. I'm dying to try MRE Type 3 coffee. That is actually all MRE base versus me adding stuff onto it. Hmm. With the lack of sugar, since I only had one packet, it's got a really strong coffee taste to it, as one would expect from MRE coffee. However, it's not overwhelming. I stuck in the recommended amount of water this time, and I stuck in all the proper MRE stuff, because I wanted to try it at its base form. I've definitely had better coffees, in my opinion, Maxwell House has some of the best coffee. Like, just just the, the flavor of it, especially when you add in... You don't even need sugar for Maxwell House. I'd say just a bit of cream, and you're good to go. A lot of people like Folgers as well. I don't mind Folgers. Like, I'll drink it if it's there, but it doesn't quite have the aftertaste that Maxwell House does. Anyway, we're talking about this Type 3 coffee right here. This Type 3, it's not bad. I mean, for MRE coffee, MRE instant coffee, this is instant coffee type 3. It's got a really strong coffee taste to it, especially the aftertaste. Uh, when you have you stick in a bit more sugar, then it doesn't really, like, like the sugar to coffee ratio is very fragile. <laughs> you can very easily stick too much sugar into this coffee and it gets too sweet too quick. Of course, you could just add more coffee into it if you had more coffee available to you, which I do not. I only have the one packet, which is currently in that cup. So that actually makes me kind of sad. I'm going to see if I can find some instant coffee type 3 packets and just have those shipped in so I don't have to get them in the MREs. If that can't happen, then I guess I'm getting a bunch more MREs. Alright, well, I think I've checked out literally everything here besides the Skittles, which everyone's already seen. I checked out the matches. I'm not checking out the toilet paper, guys. <laughs> that ain't happening. Alright, so, if you like this kind of stuff, mash that subscribe button, because I do crap like this all the time. Hopefully, I'll be able to advertise these videos, and Facebook will stop being just completely ridiculous. I that, That's actually my biggest hope for these videos, to use them for advertising. Go ahead and check out the Patreon page if you want to actually support the channel. If you can't help out financially, that's completely fine, completely understand. Mash that subscribe button, you'll definitely help out plenty. Go ahead and check out some of the other uh, videos on my channel, because this is normally a gun channel. I spend all day, every day, blowing stuff up in hopes that one day I'll be able to do that for a living. Just, just destroy stuff, get paid for it, be great. <laughs> But I can't advertise me destroying stuff, so I am currently eating MREs because for whatever reason, people like watching other people eat military rations. And I MRE test anyway, so I'm freaking recording it now. In this case, I've had some alcohol, but the alcohol is not a part of the MRE. Boy, wouldn't that be great if they issued, you know, trademark friendly beer overseas that would just be fantastic just send those in with the MREs but we're not that lucky 
All right, I enjoyed this. I'm going to continue to eat at my leisure. Uh, you guys go off and have yourself a fantastic day because I know that this was actually a lot of fun. I think I'm going to do drunk eating more often because that made things way more adventurous.